What's going on guys? You're tuned in with Gemini Fox and today's a post commentary episode. We're going to the Crystal Caves. And uh, that's about all I know. So one of the cool levels, probably one of the best bosses in the game. Uh, uh, not my favorite boss per se. My favorite reward for being a boss in the game for sure. Um, yeah, I don't really like doing these post commentary. I don't think I'm gonna do any more. I think I'm just gonna do them all when I get time because I kind of forget what I'm doing. Because I don't want to see where I'm at in the game. But I, I can tell you this I recorded this video about four or five days ago. And I don't remember too much from it. So, but. I gotta fight these little demon dudes, smack them up, blue sword. Let's just take my, let's also admire the background. I mean, look at the crystal, ah, oh, it's crystal case, but look at, look at the, uh, oh, I guess I'm doing it now. Okay. Just look at the, uh, I don't know, hang on, I call it, the design. You can almost like see through them. I don't know what I'm saying, I'm trying to think of stuff. <laughs> Anyway, there's a chalice right at the beginning. So, oh, I like that little background there. That's cool. Uh, I remember I didn't have a hard time walking on here, so. Oh, yeah, now see, there's water right there. The other half isn't really water, which is kind of cool, too. I was having a hard time walking on them stumps, so. The ancient town of Menomede was destroyed by creatures known as Rhinotaurs. They live on still. But in a state of hibernation, deep within these caverns, they use the crystals to prolong their worthless hides. Huh. Well, here we go. Let's approach this big old star fest. There are imps in here that will steal your sword, so be careful of that. Hey, I'll see you. Okay, so here you need a star room. Yep. Which I thought, I can see that flashing right there. It's just like showing you what you need. I see it. I thought they just hit it over there. You just had to pick it up, but now that's that's clearly not the case. I'm not even sure why I thought that, but I did. So I, I think I'm probably here. I kind of get a little lost. So is it right here? No, it's not. Oh, the little. Who at the circle that's supposed to tell you where the enemy is? Gotta follow the bat. I was trying to follow it too. So here's an earth room. So. There ain't much else going on. Ooh, we got hit the leg. It's pretty cool looking too. Some more money. There is a uh, mission. I think I talked about it in a later episode, but there is a mission if you collect 10,000 gold. It's called like money, money bank or something, something like that. So I'm gonna try not to spend as much money in the game. I don't have to. So if you see some weapons that don't quite have as they're not full anymore, it's just because I'm saving up for that. So and then right here, I'm trying to hit this chest with a longbow, which I'm not sure why I chose a longbow, but I did. I don't know why I chose Lombow, because I like Lombow more than a crossbow. But, it shoots way too far. So, we're gonna switch to the crossbow. I do remember this part. Pull that up. Which just releases all the ips. I don't know why. I don't know do anything else. So, we're gonna use crossbow here a little bit. Just kinda... Can't use it in a while. Then, like, oh, fuck it. We're just going back to the sword. <laughs> And then this guy here is doing some kind of like circle reverse Michael Jackson bullshit. And I'm thinking I'm just gonna ping him off since he's just chilling there. I guess not. I'm changing my mind. I'm going back to the hammer. Get the hammer right because there's a little mini boss fight here that that you're gonna have to do in order to do it. Practice some more stuff. One's in the Enchanted Earth where you do the Help the Witch. Go to the Ant Caves when you get that little dragon gem. Yeah, you're gonna need it for that. So, 
if you just skip down that all completely. Then there's the other witch bar, I don't remember where it's at. I think it's in like the pumpkin, one of the pumpkin levels. Yeah, make sure you go back and at least get one dragon gem. So, you yeah. You don't need to do this all, but I think it's the next level. You need it. You need something that you get in this for it, so. Which I know we'll get to and get there, but I'm not quite spoil it yet, if you don't know. I'm pretty sure everybody does know, but. So we're gonna heal up here. I think I do get lost here in a minute. So there's probably gonna be a cut coming up. But. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, something important to note. I know we passed the hidden part already. I want to take out all the enemies and stuff first before I get that. So. I probably just said that earlier before, but. Oh, whatever. I don't, don't worry, I know where it's at. I just want to kind of do the level first and then come back to it. So. Oh, I want to pass it. It's right there. There's a little spot right, right there. Uh, but I don't want to do it yet. So. Don't worry, I know where it's at. I didn't forget about it. I didn't skip it or nothing. I just want to work on. I don't know if you can get the channels before that or not, but I think I'll try to get the channels first. I don't know why. Okay, so you can go to the right, you can get gold left, you get gold. I don't know why, I think I took the left. Yeah, I took the left. And then the rocks all break down, so. It's like every other. There are. Which, in hindsight, I probably should have did the part first because now I got to jump in all the holes, but I didn't know the rocks are going to fall. So. We got another Rhino Tower. I need one more, and there he is. Down. Okay, then there's the end. I think it's the end. No, it's not the end. It's gonna be fun to the end. All right, so let's see. Do I get the challenge now, or do I do the part before? Let's see. I'm not sure what's gonna go. Okay. Well. I don't know what I'm doing right here. Alright, all right, I'll just cut to to um here we do the chow for a secret part. Alright guys, I'm back. So we're gonna go do the fight now. I um I don't remember exactly but I think I remember. I think I was going to try to find another enemy. Because I didn't realize the chaos was full. Because I ran I just kept running in there and then I decided I was gonna do this. I don't know if I must have just noticed. I don't remember. But anyways, there's a star room that you need. Um a bunch of money. Now, you can leave right now if you want. It has to be a shield. No, a club. You can leave now if you want. But you're going to have to do this the next before you can do the next level anyway, so. This, part, this boss part is actually kind of hard to do. So, I'm not sure I pause it for. Alright, we're back. I don't know if I the bathroom or something. But anyway, so here's the part you don't have to do yet. But, uh, yeah, so you gotta use your dragon gem. You get it from the witches. Who dares to enter my lair and wake me from my slumber? Aha! Prepare yourself, little man. I shall roast the flesh from your bones. Oh, uh, I see. Well, in that case, I will pluck out both your eyes. Oh, great. I'm just gonna give you a good hiding. Boss time! So... Um, for some odd reason I did this like the most... Dumbest way possible so y'all can sit here and enjoy and laugh. I just seem really delayed. But anyway, so you take out number, take out the witch. Take out the witch and then uh... Take, um, you take out the witch, get the drink jump. So the point of this fight is... Okay, so you see how I'm standing on green, right? You see how I'm standing on the blue? When you hit those, it makes crystal fall, but whatever spot you're on, you hit. So I hit green, green at the top, it's pretty much all this. It's pretty really damage, takes uh, 11 hits. Sure, something explanatory. Um, I don't know, I kind of like noobed out or something, I'm not sure. But yeah, I was really slow, so. I don't know, it took me so long to do it, but. And then, so, and I think also we just about halfway dead. He'll start doing like double hook him out a little bit and he'll die again. 
And then I was there at it backwards. Oh yeah, you gotta hit yourself one time, you get a trophy too. So, well, I don't think it's gonna pop up, but we're out of there anyway. No, it's not gonna pop up. But anyway, it just says stop hitting yourself. There we go. Ain't nothing to, you know, whatever. So we're about. Uh, I'd say we're about halfway, but. But one more hit would be on the easier side of half. Mean old dragon's a boss, by the way. The voice is kind of hot, too. Okay, now I think we're halfway. Now's where he starts doing double. Oh, my God, yeah. The half part was I'm just going to sit here in one spot until until he pops his head out. Ah, that's my goal. I was just going to sit there at the bottom. And every time he came out at that corner, I will just keep hitting him. Well, I think he figured it out because he never came out there for a while. If you can't ask him, too. And I started doing a double. I thought I was out of the play, nah. Got smoked again. I actually started taking unnecessary hits. I don't know why that didn't work there, but it didn't, so. I was stuck. Of course, I thought I was high in the game, but I wasn't. At this point here, I'm starting to get a little scared here, right? We only got 320 health. We're just taking damage down our last 300 round fire. Oh, not anymore. So at this point, I'm like, all right, I can't just wait for the pop down there. It's not going to work. So, I might just start playing the fight how you're supposed to. And I actually sat staring at it, but I missed him somehow. Because right behind me, I got to try to jump it on fire. Slow again. Oh, we got in there. That was a lucky shot. I got, oh, I almost got in there by luck. Got in there. Caught us on fire, but I think it cuts out, yeah. I yield. Well, really hurt. What did it have to go and do that for? Here, take this dragon potion and leave me alone. Drink it when you need it. It gives you armor that is impervious to heat. Plus, it lets you breathe fire. Now go away. Okay, yeah, so I got the fire off, so we actually didn't die, we got to close. So, here's the dragon armor, what you need for the next part, because there's going to be a, a wall, like, fire, and you can't go into it unless you get it. So, I mean, you don't have to get it right now, technically, but you're going to need it for the next episode, so, so you might also just get it now. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, so I'll cut to the chalice. Alright, we're back up on the chalice, so we're going to grab the chalice. Now all I gotta do is just get out of dodge with 136 life left. I'm actually thinking right now, I don't remember the next set, but I'll cut to... Oh no, it's actually just a starter, that's right. I forgot we got that. How else that play out? Just real quick up here. Come play. That's part here, I was really nervous. If I fall down, I'm dead, right? So we gotta like walk really careful here. So, in case one of my walking so slow, that's why. There's enemies right here. Yeah. You want to type of being nervous? We just took a hit. Okay, I'm gonna turn down 36. We're down 36. We are on the freaking death. And we're out. 36. 86, I meant to say. And into the Hall of Heroes. Skating by, oh boy, we gotta go to Dan's crap the hill up. Unless we get lucky and get a potion. That's all that. It's not a potion. I don't remember what it is, but I know it's not a potion. Wouldn't this make a wonderful tourist attraction? Come see Stengard the Mighty. Come and see the last of the centaurs. Oh, and see that dork over there? That's Daniel Fortescue, would be hero. Ha 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 ha. How about you sit up your ass? Alright. There's dragon armor. If you guys want to see what it look like. I don't really care for it, but... The idea is... The idea behind it is good, but it's... You gotta catch them on fire. I just... Yeah. Nah, not for me. Daniel, there you are. I was so worried about you. 
I know you have the heart of a hero, Daniel. Now we must show the others. Would you like to take my magic lightning bolts? I don't have many, but they're very powerful. <coughs> Off your pot then, and keep your chin up. <coughs> Oops, sorry, Daniel. Now take care. The good people of Galamir are depending on you. And we get a lightning glove. Which... I don't know if this may off that this stuff doesn't pop up. But that is the last weapon. And that unlocks the trophy master of Dan's arms. So all the weapons have been unlocked now. Now I'll try how to use this, but you gotta have an enemy in there, so this won't do nothing otherwise. I'm just at least a 10% of it. So and then if you're wondering. Let's see. We just fill up on all our stuff. Cause 154, 25%. So if you use the whole thing, it costs you 600 gold to fill it. It's empty. So we're gonna stack up right before the end. Eat them up. Now switch our weapons here because it's personally to you need the whole game, so. Except for the next part that I'm recording after this, after I do this commentary. I think it's bow, but for the most part, you just use a sword and raw game. And let's go to the next area. And the next part will be the Gallows Gauntlet. So, hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, that's pretty much it. So, I'll see you in the next part. Until then, peace out.